What's going on guys, your boy Sha, and today we're going to be reviewing the Amazon Basics 60 inch lightweight tripod, comes with a bag. Uh, I recently ordered this off Amazon, I was in the market for a new tripod, something, you know, affordable but quality, and this seemed to be the right fit. Uh, it retails for around $23.49 on Amazon, and let's get into it. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, you know, why is it so cheap? Um, According to Amazon, they, they have a line of products that they produce on their own. And they cut out a lot of the, the marketing and distribution costs, which allows them to keep the costs low, but their quality of products high. So that's the reason why this iPod was so cheap. But apparently it has great quality. So here you go. you got the zipper bag with a holster. It uh, has the adjustable strap to be able to put on your arm carry with you, which is nice. I like that. And here it is. Right off the bat, I can tell you this has some good weight to it, which is good when you're on the field and it's windy or something like that. That's always a plus. You want something that's kind of heavy duty. Up top here, you have a plate that's uh, releasable. Um, here you have an arm to hold it. Very nice. On the bottom here, you're going to have some adjustable ball mounts, which makes it great for you know trying to level your stuff, um, which I really like that. That's, that's really nice. Very well made. For the price, you really can't beat it. I've seen very seen similar ones on Amazon for going for four or five hundred bucks. Some two, three hundred. I mean, they vary all over the place. As you can see, there's a level here, which is great when you're trying to level your camera on the field, uh, especially in uneven terrain, which I've actually had problems with in the past. But you also have another one. You got another level here. And let me set it up. I'm going to turn this camera on. Is once you have it set up in level and you level up all the angles and you see that the center bubble is measured in the center of this, then what you'd want to do is tighten these things up, get everything locked into place. Once you have everything set, this head pops up, which is really nice. So this way when you're switching between cameras and stuff like that, you don't have to remove your tripod. You can leave it set exactly how it is. And then for just for a test, I'll grab one of my cameras that I currently have and I'll show you how uh, to do it. Okay, now it's all set up. As you can see, I have it locked in. The camera's not going anywhere. It's pretty tight. So now you have two options. You could actually mount it sideways like this, and this will allow you to achieve that uh, portrait view. So if you're trying to tilt the camera like this, you'll be able to get a side angle shot like that. And then you could also snap it in this way, which is really nice. So you have two options as far as setting up the camera and the way you want to do it. Um, but this is a really nice tripod for $23. How much was it? $23.49. You really can't go wrong. Two tripods that I own, I think I paid about $150 for one of them. The other one was about $60. Bucks. And the quality is nowhere near as nice as this. Amazon saves a lot of their money in product distribution and marketing since they're only using their website to sell their products. They don't have to worry about getting shelf space and you know branding and packaging. And they put all that money back into the products, which makes them really high quality. And I can tell you for $30, for less than $30, you're going to get a really nice tripod. So the question you guys are all wondering, is it worth buying? And I would say it's definitely worth scooping this one up. If you're in need of a new tripod or you don't own one, this is definitely something that will allow you to get a high quality tripod for a good price point. Like I said, for less than $30, you're going to get yourself a quality one. And this is definitely something you want to have on site when you're filming it to get that steady shot. doesn't matter how steady you think you can keep your camera in your hand, you're not going to get something as good as a tripod. So if you don't have one and you're in the market for a tripod, I definitely recommend this one. I'll leave links in the description below for anyone interested in buying it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments, and I'll be glad to answer them. You guys have a great day.